Uh, this comedian, he was not on the bill. This is actually a guest appearance. Yes. Let's hear it for Dennis Cruz. Oh, how we doing, monkey business? Oh, see, there's always a toss-up. As the alcoholic, do I trust the sloppy bar stool with a sturdy speaker? I'm going with the sloppy bar stool. <laughs> oh, how we doing? We awake? We awake out there? Yeah. Oh, I know. I, I'm, you know, I'm at that age where I just don't want the last words I hear to be, oops. You know? No, and I'm sure you can tell by the haircut I was in the military for a while. You know, and you know, now I grow out my hair to support my friends that are, you know, struggling, that are follically challenged, right? You know, so they have someone they can look at, and point to, and go, fuck you, man. You know, I, uh, there you go. I, uh, I, I, I had, a, I, I, I had my first job. My first job was at a 7-Eleven, right? I was a stock boy at first, and then they found out I could do math real quick in my head, right? So they promoted me to cashier, you know, because and it was important because at the time, we didn't have those barcode readers. We didn't have those scanners, right? I mean, the coolest thing you could do on a computer was type 80085. Yeah. There you go. He knows how to spell. Oh. But, yeah, I, you know, and, and I, I, I ended up working graveyard for a while. I had this job for six years. I ended up working graveyard, you know, and, and all graveyard is is you clean everything. I mean, you get stuff spick and span. So, obviously, I did a lot of meth. Oh. <laughs> Only back then, we called it crank, and it was brown, and it burned. I mean, it was, it was good God. Oh. Yeah, you know, you know one, of, one of my tasks was to go out and clean up the parking lot. It's a big, huge fucking parking lot for a 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is supposed to be in and out, right? Like my mom. No. Oh, you know, in and out for quick and in and out. You know, but they had like a hundred spots. You know, it came in handy when I had to live in one of them. But I had to go out and clean up this parking lot, right? And you know, I, I, there was this one time I came across this used condom. Yeah, yeah, you know, look at that. Oh, he knows what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. You know, and a little later on in the night, I found this wrapper that said it was cherry flavored, but it was for a totally different one. <laughs> no, I, I, oh, I, I, 7-Eleven was my first job, right? I had a lot of first working there. I had my first beer where I snuck it in the cooler, right? Pop, pop. Oh, Budweiser, fuck me. Oh. I, 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 I snorted no-dose. Does anybody remember no-dose? It was pure caffeine. It was caffeine tablet. You crush them up and you snort them and it's like dragon fire. Oh, it's almost as bad as a crank. Oh. It kept your weight, though, when you couldn't get crank. Oh. <laughs> I uh, I had my I had my first kiss. Well, well, my first French kiss, right in the parking lot. That's the one with tongue, right? The French kiss, right? You know, I it was a little weird for me, but my boss insisted, and he was he was he was adamant about it. I don't know. I uh, I enjoyed working there. You know, I I I had I had my first robbery. Right? My, my boss, it was a franchise 7-Eleven, so he could like he had to buy certain stuff, but he also bought stuff from China, right? Before they found out that opening it causes cancer. Oh. Uh, but he bought these toy guns, right? They didn't have those little orange stoppers back then, because I'm that fucking old. Right? But and so this guy came in to rob the store, he put the so he bought all this he put all this shit on the counter and put the sawed off on the I rang it up like a toy. I put it in the bag. And the guy was like, no, I came in with that. And I go, no, you can't have that in here. And he goes, no, I'm robbing you. And I go, no, come on, where's your hoodie? Where's your mask? Fucking, I got seven cameras, dude. I, 
okay, I'm gonna, you can either pay for this stuff or you can go home for two hours and pretend you got away with a robbery. That's what I'm He paid for everything. That's it. I don't know. I, you know, I, I joked about my hair, but I was serious. In the military, I, you know, I, ha I and I was serious about, you know, living in the parking lot for a while. I, <laughs> you know, I joined the military. I'd be, I'd be, I, they, they were good. They, they issue you stuff, right? They issue you food. They issue you clothing. They issue you a place to sleep. And I had been living out of my car for a year. I was just being issued parking tickets. Right? I was ready to kill for a good parking spot. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but I joined the military. It was, it was a great time. I had a lot of fun. I learned five different languages, or how to get laid in five different languages. Uh, just the good parts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. People in the back are going, what's it? I don't know. Uh, uh, I got married. I got married while I was in the military. You know, because they don't issue you a wife, right? You gotta go out and find one. And I met this beautiful, wonderful, oh, she was a gorgeous gal, right? You know, she said all the right words. You know, I'm pregnant. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, so we, we ended up getting married. It turns out she wasn't, but I didn't, it didn't matter to me. I was, I was out on this job three, six, nine months out of the year, right? And I never cheated on my wife. Well, the first one, second one, all the fucking time. Never the first one, though. But I, you know, I was out and somehow I ended up with gonorrhea twice. Yeah. Oh. Little boy. Little boy. Ow. But you know, Paul was out protected and serving. She was back home serving without protection. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, shame on me. I was naive. I was a young kid. Shame on me for believing her the first time when she said she got it from this stall in this bathroom at this restaurant that she goes to. Right? Shame on me. I was dumb, stupid. Right? But same time, same time, I had to tell her, we're going to a fucking restaurant. That's what I told her. I don't know. I, got, I, had, a, I had a buddy who was in the military. Uh... Yeah, he would say he was a sniper, right? He got out, became a wonderful photographer, but he only does headshots. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. They, they, while, while I was in the military, they fill your head with all these horror stories about STDs, right? These STDs. Like this one guy, this one guy was having problems. He was pissing reasonably. And he went to the doctor. He said, Doc, I'm having problems. The doctor took one look. said, Oh my God, we got an amputee. And the guy was like, Oh, oh. Can we get at least a second opinion? At least one more uh, opinion on it. And so they called in this other doctor, and the doctor took me in. The guy was like, Well, doc, are you going to have to? Are you going to have to have pain? Are you going to have and, and the other doctor was like, Oh, no, 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 no. And the guy was like, Woo! And the second doctor finished going, No, that thing's going to fall off in three days tops. I'm Dennis Cruz. Thank you very much. Dennis Cruz, everybody. Yeah.